My name is Aphrodite Jones. As a true crime author, I take on controversial cases. I track down the story behind the story, and I won't stop until I get the truth. February 2008. In the weeks oh following the brutal slaying of Rhonda Smith, investigators have narrowed in on their prime suspect, Mary Jane Fonder. They believe Mary Jane became obsessed with the idea that Rhonda and Pastor Greg Shreves were having an affair. And that jealousy led her down a path to murder. It was all fathomed in her mind. Rhonda was a sweet girl, and she didn't deserve that at all. There was nothing going on between her and the pastor. This is beyond strange. This is where strange meets stranger than fiction. But there's no proof Mary Jane shot Rhonda or that she was anywhere near the church. In fact, Mary Jane tells investigators she was having her hair done at the time of the murder. And her alibi completely checks out. We go to the salon. Turns out she was there. She signed in and she put the specific time. Did they do any search of her house? Did anyone ever ask to do that? Well. That, that was the, uh, one of the biggest obstacles in the investigation and the prosecution of the case. We didn't have enough probable cause to get into her house. There's nothing to tie her to this homicide. No fingerprints, no DNA, no weapon, no anything. Mary Jane continues to come to church, and for Pastor Shreves, it's more than a little uncomfortable. Each week as he stands at his pulpit, he wonders if his newest sermon might just be his last. I knew that Mary Jane might be a suspect in this murder. I couldn't say that to the congregation because she may not have been. It was very off-putting to me because she would turn or pull her purse up or look into her purse or something during worship, and I'd have to stop and uh, just to make sure that she wasn't going to pull a gun or something out. You're thinking she would actually pull a gun out in the middle of your sermon? I didn't know. I, I thought maybe if she was angry enough that I wasn't giving her attention, that it, it would have been possible. But if Mary Jane thinks anyone at church suspects she murdered Rhonda, she sure doesn't show it. In fact, she does everything she can to support Rhonda's parents in their grief. Mary Jane would go and visit even during times that they really didn't want any visitors and sort of thrust herself upon them. Let me come in, I'll cut it up for you. Well, one second. She would bake them a pie, and it's hard to refuse entry to somebody who's standing at your front door with a freshly baked pie, offering sympathy and friendship.